Today we're going to study the effects of flux on a weld. Here's a 6013 welding rod for stick welding. I'm going to break the flux off it to see how much there is. I get a whole lot of experts commenting on my flux core welding videos. And that weld ain't no good because it's got a bunch of slag inclusion in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slack jawed slag brains. Just look at this massive pile of flux that's building up from just this one single stick welding rod. This pile of flux here, it'd probably fill an entire roll a spool, two pounds of the flux core wire. Look at all that. And just imagine how far that would go to fill up a hollow spot on the inside of a 30,000th thickness wire. Now let's find out where all that flux goes. This is the Yes Welder Flux 135 that you've been seeing me using for over a year now. Flawless operation, still working great. It is a multi-process welder. It does stick, TIG, and flux core. Here's my flux core gun, same one I've been using all this time, and I have no nozzle on it, because of course there's no gas, but uh, I usually keep a, a flux core uh, protector on here, but it uh, broke and fell apart, so I haven't got another one yet, but you don't need any kind of nozzle. Just be careful not to touch your electrode tip to your workpiece because it'll short out. So I usually use a, a fairly long stick out about like, about like that starting with. So I'm usually nowhere near any metal. I'll be welding eighth inch steel. So we're gonna test the, the stick welding function and the flex core function. So here's the stick welding at 120 amps. I'm using some 60, 6013 by eight that I borrowed. I'm just running the bead on top of the metal. A few inches of bead will suffice for this here test. There, that's good. Now I'm gonna run a similar bead at 120 amps with the flux core. And then we'll examine both these wells to see what they look like after the fact, here in just a second. Now that they've cooled off, I'm gonna wipe the smoke and dust away with a paper towel with lacquer thinner on it. It's not taking off any slag or anything like that, it's just picking up that dust. All forms of welding leave some kind of soot behind, so we'll wipe the soot off first. You can definitely see the coating of slag on the stick weld. It's full of porosity and all kinds of crap. Just like it's on the outside of the rod, it's on the outside of the weld when the weld is done. So now I'm gonna use my cross beam body hammer as a chipping hammer to see what happens. I'll start with the flux core. We'll zoom in a little bit and then start chipping. Chip, 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 no chip, no chip, no chip, no chip, no chip, no chip. No chip. Oops, a piece of slag's off top. And there ain't nothing coming off that flux core weld because there ain't nothing on that flux core weld. Nothing but dust. I still got plenty of slag left on the uh, stick weld. That slag fell off the front there, right from, from that area there in the front. And from banging down lower, it fell off. So let's chip this and see what happens. Oh yeah, that's got slag on it. It's popping off, making a mess. Now the, the stitch, I mean the stick weld is shiny underneath that slag and the uh, flux core weld seems to be like a, a darker gray and it is darker gray. It's got soot on top of it, but had absolutely no slag. Now let me recap for you people that are kind of slow. A stick weld uses a rod that has an extreme amount of flux on the outside of it and that flux is boiling away on top of the puddle as you weld. Uh, flux core has a teeny tiny amount of flux inside the wire that is boiling up through the weld as you weld. 
the flux core flux is carrying impurities out of the weld and if the weld is running into outside impurities it's boiling them off too so the dust that you see from a flux core weld is not going to affect the next weld that you put right adjacent to the weld you just did one weld basically right on top of the other one that dust that you saw is not going to affect the strength of that weld it might not be good enough for the space shuttle or oil pipeline or anything like that but it's damn sure good enough for auto body work so please touch my like thingy and share my shizzle and subscribe damn it